All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about truffle. Now, this video is not to be confused with the other video I have of myself just eating truffles on my other personal YouTube channel. But this one, we're gonna be talking about the truffle development tool for Ethereum smart contracts. And on the website, it doesn't really give you a lot of description of what it is, just as sweet tools for smart contracts. And it's kind of vague to understand really what it is at first glance. However, it's kind of an accurate description because there are indeed a lot of tools included in this, not only an entire development framework, but project templates. There are easy to use scripts for compilation and deployment and really lots of handy tools that we're going to be covering one by one. But any hoot, go ahead and go to trufflesuite.com. And another thing is I usually make my own content for these tutorials. However, for this one specifically, we're going to be changing things up and following their quick start guide. I actually went through this and it includes everything that I think is great for, you know, getting started, getting to learn truffle. So instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, we're going to be going through this. So if you get lost or if you want any of the code, then if you go to truffle quick start, it's all going to be there. And on that note, let's go ahead and minimize this. Now, before we get started writing any code, I do want to mention that there are going to be two uh, prereqs for this, and that is you need to have Git installed and you also need to have a node, N-O-D-E installed. I'm not going to walk through those processes because I'm assuming if you're a developer, especially writing dApps and, you know, a lot of JavaScript code, you probably already have those two things installed. But if you have any questions, then go ahead and hop over to our Discord and we can help you out there. So anyways, once you have Git and Node installed, then we can go ahead and install Truffle. So how do we install Truffle? So let's go ahead and run sudo npm install minus G, and this means globally Truffle. Now I am not going to run this because I actually already have it installed, but what I am gonna do is cd over to a directory and this is just where I keep my projects it's on my desktop a little projects folder and I'm just going to create an empty directory and then we're going to be uh, putting the code in there so I'm going to call it meta coin again this is from the uh, quick guide so now that we got that installed let me go ahead and open that and by the way whenever you open this you can actually use any IDE that you want I'm gonna be using WebStorm, but if you have another one, then that's fine too. So go ahead and open and just pull this over, show you guys what's going on. So I had it in desktop projects and that was called MetaCoin. Go ahead and open that. All right, so now we have our project open. Again, just a plain empty directory, not even a single file right now. Now, what I'm gonna do is pop open my terminal and by the way, uh, WebStorm comes with a built-in terminal. It's pretty much the exact same thing as using this, just a little bit more convenient since it's baked into the IDE. And once you have a terminal open, whether it's baked in or not, what we can do is we can run the unbox command. And what this is going to do, actually, let me type it out. So truffle unbox metacoin. So what this is gonna do is essentially use something called a box and let me pull up the truffle website to show you what boxes are so truffle boxes are well there are actually a couple of things they're example apps or project templates um you can kind of think of it like boilerplate that you can use whenever you initialize a new project it's almost like create react app if you're familiar with that so if not, you'll see in just a sec what it's gonna do, but we are gonna be using a box called MetaCoin, which is basically just like a very stripped down, bare bones MVP um, project. So let me go ahead and run this and it might take a bit. All right, directory is not empty, even though it is, I think there might be some hidden IDE files in here. So either way, just gonna hit Y and all right. So let me expand this in case there's any juicy output. So what did it say? Preparing to download, it downloaded something, it had some temporary files, set up the box, okay. And then at the end, it said, uh, you have some new commands now, truffle compile, truffle migrate, and truffle test. Huh, interesting. So let's take a look at what just happened. So now in our project, if we expand this, we can see that we do have indeed some source code files in here. 
uh, specifically three directories, one called contracts, one called migrations, and one called tests. Then we have get attributes, a license in this truffle config JavaScript file. So let's go ahead and start with this contracts directory and see what's in here. So as you could guess, pretty similar to Remix, is that in here we have our Solidity contracts. So whenever we create new ones, that's where they're gonna go. Now, unlike Remix, we also have this migrations directory. So what's in here? So migrations are JavaScript files that help you deploy contracts to the Ethereum network. And that's all we have to understand for now. Later on, we're gonna be getting our hands a little bit dirty and taking a closer look at that, but for right now, uh, that'll be fine. And the last directory is this test directory. And of course, you could probably guess these are the files that you're going to use for testing, not only your application, and by that I mean your JavaScript files, but testing for your Solidity contracts as well. Now for Git attributes, license we can skip over. This is related to Git. This is basically just saying that if we push this up to GitHub, then all of our source code is going to be under the MIT license by default. Feel free to change that. And this last one, truffle config, pop this open, take a look at it real quick. This is actually an important file. Um, of course, your truffle configuration file for the project, and this has settings related to the Solidity compiler, what version you're using, um, what network you're deploying to, so on and so forth. And that is the basic project structure. So with that in our heads, let's go ahead and try to run some of those commands that we got suggested from truffle right here. So the easiest one to get started with is probably truffle test. And again, you can use this command to run tests not only for Solidity files, but also on JavaScript files. And I'll show you the syntax for this. Let me clear my terminal. So anytime you wanna run a Solidity test, and we'll pop open this file real quick. So again, I know we only wrote one smart contract and there's a lot of syntax that you know we have yet to cover, but just showing you that this is indeed um, a testing file for Solidity. And anytime we wanna run these tests, then what we can do is we can run truffle and then the command is test. And then what we can do right after this is just write the uh, path to the testing file. So I'm gonna start with period. That means my current directory, where am I gonna go? Well, the tests are in the test directory right here and the file is called testmetacoin.sol. Oops, type in the wrong place here. Testmetacoin.sol. So again, truffle test, and then a path to the file that you wanna test, hit enter, and all right. So it looks like there are two tests in there, and they both passed, so that's fantastic. Now, another thing that I wanna point out, again, you could probably guess this too, but for testing this JavaScript file, you actually use the exact same command, which is very cool about this, and that file is called metacoin.js. So again, truffle test, and this last uh, file path argument, it doesn't matter if it's a Solidity file or JavaScript file, go ahead and hit enter and run that. And all right, it looks like there were three tests in that JavaScript file and those all passed. Now, some other quick commands uh, we can touch on is first the compilation command, or in other words, how do you compile your smart contracts? And that one is truffle compile. So you hit enter. So again, that was the command to compile your smart contracts. And at the end of that, you should see a build directory with some artifacts in here. And we're gonna be digging into these, uh, understanding exactly what those are in, well, probably the next tutorial. But for now, I just wanna kind of cover the basic commands. So let me pop back open my terminal and cover one more. And that is truffle develop. So this is a pretty interesting one because what this does is it creates and runs a built-in personal blockchain that you can use for testing and development. And also in this process, it gives you this interactive prompt and it makes it a little bit easier to run commands since before, whenever we wanted to run any of this, these commands, we have to pretty much write truffle before. So truffle test, truffle compile, so on and so forth. However, whenever you are in this interactive prompt, you can essentially leave out that truffle keyword or command at the beginning. So for example, whenever you just want to compile, you can just write compile and it works exactly the same as before. Just, you know, uh, save you some typing time. Now, the last command that I want to go over right now is migrate. 
So what Migrate is gonna do is it's gonna deploy your compiled smart contracts to the blockchain. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And all right, if we scroll up a little bit. So up here, we can see a little cost summary. It says you deployed three contracts. This was the final cost. And some other info that we'll be getting into a little bit later, some transaction IDs and addresses of our deployed contracts. But again, just really wanted to uh, mention that the migrate command is what you're gonna use to actually deploy your contracts to the blockchain. Now, if you really wanted to, you can actually just develop and use this console-based blockchain that came with Truffle Develop. However, there is a much better tool. Actually, let me close out of this. And that is this right here. Where'd my browser go? All right. So there's another tool in the Truffle suite called Ganache, and it's pretty similar to the Truffle Develop blockchain where it's just a blockchain pretty much a virtual Ethereum network that runs locally. However, a key benefit to this is it comes with a much nicer user interface and it just makes developing on the blockchain much easier. So go ahead and download this. And I'm not gonna show you how to download it. It's uh, pretty simple. And also I already have it downloaded. And once you do, you are going to get this program right here. So what we can do for now is just hit quick start Ethereum. And again, this is just gonna create basically a very simple like virtual Ethereum network, virtual Ethereum blockchain. And similar to Remix, it's gonna come with some sample uh, test accounts. And your mnemonic is also right up here. And we're gonna need that in the future actually. So some key things to point out is that your server, you can see it right here, it's running on localhost and it may be too small for a YouTube video, but it is on port 7545. That's the default port. And we do have to remember this because what we need to do in our project right here is essentially say, hey, we are actually running a new development network that we wanna to connect to from this project. And that is this little simulation network right here. So in order to configure our project to point to this Ganache instance, again, I don't even know if I mentioned that, but this is called Ganache. What we can do is hop over to our truffle config file and right here where it is, all right, and I believe that, okay. So just had to uncomment this too, since uh, that's where the closing bracket was, but essentially uncomment this development network and this is gonna have your host. Again, this is localhost. It is on port 7545. The network ID, we don't have to worry about right now. And also make sure you uncomment this since it's the closing brace for this. So now that we are presumably hooked up to this development network, let's just go ahead and verify a couple things first. And that is, okay, it looks like all of our accounts, they haven't been touched. They each have 100 ETH. All right, we got our Genesis block no transactions and no contracts on our blockchain either. So pretty much verify that this is indeed a brand new blockchain. So in the terminal, what we can do now is we can run truffle migrate. Again, we have to include the uh, truffle keyword right here because we are no longer in that truffle development tool. And let me go ahead and hit enter. And what this is gonna do is it should migrate that contract and it looked like everything went all right. So if so, then that would mean that it migrated our contracts over to the blockchain created by Ganache. So, okay, this is promising first because pop this back open and we see 99.99 ETH. So something happened that cost one or 0.01 ETH around that. So now let's hop over to blocks. Okay, nice, got some more blocks now. And transactions, all right, nice. So it looks like that was indeed successful. Now, the last thing that I wanna do is show you how you can interact with not only this deployed contract, but kind of the blockchain overall. And that is using a tool called Truffle Console. Now, I'm gonna hit enter, and at first, this is gonna look like the other tool that we just had open, Truffle Develop. However, there are a couple key differences. The Truffle Develop tool, that always connects to that Truffle Console version of the blockchain, whereas Truffle Console what this does is it connects to an existing blockchain. And since we configured our project to point to that Ganache blockchain, what it's gonna to connect to is this one right here. So how can we verify that it's working? 
Well, let's go ahead and try to get a reference to these accounts. So if we can print out this account number, then we know it's connected to the right blockchain. So how do we do that? We'll pop this open again and all right. So a lot of the syntax we're gonna be covering in more detail later on, again, getting into the weeds in the upcoming videos. But for now, just a real simple uh, demonstration. Let's go ahead and create a variable called accounts. And again, this is JavaScript syntax. Let's go ahead and await and just type in web3.eth.get accounts. And again, I know I'm kind of running through this, be like, what is a web3? What is ETH? What is this get accounts function? Yada, yada. But uh, kind of just to go over the basics of Truffle right now. So I'm going to hit enter, says undefined. Now, hopefully all of our test accounts should be stored in this array right here. So just to verify that, let me go ahead and just log out accounts zero. And okay, so 0x009, it starts with, and 5426 looks like it ends with, and it looks like 0x009 and 5426. Would you look at that? So there you go. There is your basic overview to Truffle. Again, there's a lot more to it, but we are going to be getting into the weeds, covering everything in more detail in the upcoming tutorials. So for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.